Let me begin by commending the organizers of this conference and the important collaboration that has been created among the University of Malta, Malta Psychiatric Services, the Clinical School of Clare College, Cambridge, the Centro Studi Psychiatrici in Italy, and the Collaborating Center for Values-Based Practice in Health and Social Care of St. Catherine's College, Oxford. In particular, I must thank Dr. Anton Grek and Dr. Marka Juice for their efforts to make this conference a reality. It has come at an ideal time, while Valletta is celebrating Valletta's term as European Capital of Culture for 2018. It is the goal for Valletta as European Capital of Culture to not only showcase Maltese identity and heritage, but to highlight the spirit of solidarity and friendship, which was the foundation of our European Union, and Malta's aspiration to connect with communities and societies from, from all across the world on all levels. Verdala Palace is a perfect example of how the natural and built environment complement one another in most enriching ways. For this reason, it is an ideal venue for the subject of this prestigious Today conference, which as I am told, will explore the links between psychiatry, mental health, and the arts. I am informed that the lineup for this conference will engage with the arts in a broad and, and comprehensive way to include a focus on the visual arts, the performing arts, architecture, dance, and music. I am also informed that there are many distinguished speakers who will address these topics in more detail throughout the conference. Therefore, I would like to share with you some brief remarks at the beginning. First and foremost, I'm sure we would all agree that what distinguishes the arts from other skills is their direct application of human creativity in order to create new and inspiring ways of understanding the world. I believe that such creativity is essential for the holistic well-being of every individual and community across society. Creativity in its most fundamental form is an imaginative process which takes different kinds of information and brings them together in synthesis. In so doing, new ideas are created and old ones are positively transformed. Creativity is a dynamic process in constant evolution generating endless innovation and reflecting life in all its vigor. Creative people are open to diverse experiences and are able to think outside the box. This surely gives them the opportunity to be more independent in their judgments and actions, thereby discovering opportunities for connection with the world around them. Creativity, as I see it, is a catalyst for critical thinking, which I believe is a skill that we must emphasize in our society, especially among our children and young people. For this reason, I believe that we must ensure that all voices are valued and have respectful spaces in which to be heard. These include the voices of people of all ethnicities, genders, and generations. I believe that, in particular, we must support members of minority groups or other communities which are excluded from full participation in mainstream culture and therefore are at higher risks of vulnerability and precarity. Women are one such group, and I hope that a gender-sensitive approach to the subject of creativity, psychosocial well-being, and participation in the arts will be explored also during this conference. The access that women have in the culture sector, in my opinion, is an important indication of their ability to promote policies and projects which reflect the needs, concerns, and aspirations of women in a realistic and proactive way. This makes the latest data on cultural employment provided by Eurostat very worrying. Indicators state that Malta is one of six EU member states where women's participation in cultural employment is the lowest recorded in the European Union. More must be done to address this troubling situation and to create a context 
of equality and inclusion for women and girls. There are other areas in which we should focus our attention to maximize the potential for creativity in our society. As we all know, Malta and the rest of the European Union are experiencing a rapidly aging population. Data from the European Commission is telling us that the share of people aged 80 years or more will be more than double current demographics by 2080. This will mean that 13% of the population of the EU will require specialized geriatric care and support. In this context, decades of research have demonstrated that for people with dementia and other neurological conditions, the ability to create art remains long after speech and language have diminished. Research has also shown that creating visual art reduces stress and promotes relaxation in people who are hospitalized or cannot leave their homes due to serious illnesses. Recent research suggests that to avoid, to avoid cognitive decline, doing creative activities may be more effective than merely appreciating creative works. A 2017 report from the Mayo Clinic study of aging indicated that people over 70 who did crafts projects had a lower risk of developing mild cognitive impairment than did those who engaged in more passive forms of artistic appreciation. These findings were preceded by a 2014 German study which showed that retired people who painted and sculpted had a marked improvement in their spatial reasoning and emotional resilience. On concluding, let me reiterate my firm conviction that the links between sustainable mental, emotional, and social well-being are profoundly connected to the celebration of creativity in our communities and throughout society. I believe that we must continue to promote opportunities for creativity among our children and young people, minority and vulnerable groups, and the aging populations of our various countries. In this way, we shall be promoting resilience and long-term development while also preparing our citizens to face the challenges of a rapidly changing world with open minds and the sense of innovation. I augur all of you a most informative conference, and I look forward to exploring the outcomes of your deliberations. Thank you.